Hey there. All right, so now we're gonna take the place command to a new level. As I've mentioned, the place command is a key tool for addressing um, jumping. And the reason is that the jumping is related to overexcitement. Honey gets overexcited. A lot of times she gets encouragement from humans. Humans feed her excitement, which makes her more excited. And it becomes this um, cycle of unwanted behavior and feeding unwanted behavior. So what we need is an option to break the cycle. Now, just saying off and down isn't gonna do that because your off and your down cannot compete with humans bending in and petting her. Just can't compete. So what we need to do is disrupt. We need to block that cycle and disrupt it. And here's how we do it. We send her to place. So in this case, place is this Corunda bed. At your home, it can be one of her normal beds, a fluffy bed. So what we want to do is perfect her response to the place command and then start meaning that you say place and she goes to it. Now, when you do that, you will always need to go near it. You can't be across the room and point in most cases. So you'll go over and you'll point and tell her to go to her place. But then you should be able to walk away and have her stay there, even when people come in. She stays on the place, she can dance and play and roll around, lay down, sit, chew things, whatever, as long as she stays on that place. So that exercise requires us to help her build up impulse control to help her build up her ability to stay put no matter what. So we do, as the, as the people who are helping her build this skill, we need to continually challenge her. We practice at a low level of distraction and then we start adding more distractions as we go. So what I've been doing here so far is I put her in place and then I walk away. I move around, I open the door. All of those things she has to stay put for. She gets good at that, then I need to add some excitement. So I start throwing treats across the room. She doesn't get to go off and get them. Now I need to bring a higher level of excitement. I need my proofing has to get more and more challenging. Enter Bentley. Bentley is going to be my stunt dog today. So he is going to be the distraction. And he is much more of a distraction than anything else I can offer right now. Um, Deb is becoming familiar to her, so I need something new. So Bentley is new, and he's a good boy, and he's nutty, and he has boundary issues. So he's exactly what we need. So here's what we're going to do. I'm going to put her in place, and then I'm going to start moving Bentley around and being playful with him. She's going to come off place. I expect that, because this is going to be more than she's had to deal with. And I'm just going to patiently put her back. And you're going to see how I do that, because this is what you're going to do when you start having humans come over. Okay. Are we ready? Where'd you go? What you got? Okay, honey. Honey, place. Yes. Now, notice I'm not giving her a reward because she knows what that word means. I have phased out treats for this. Now, I'm still going to treat her when I release her because the end of the sequence, it's always worth treating for a long time after we release. Uh -uh. So she popped off. She wants to go follow Bentley. And I put her back up. I don't say the command again. And I don't give her treats. I just put her back on quietly. Hey, Ben. Hey, Ben. You go, boy. Come here, Ben. Oh. I just put her back on. So this is the first time she's ever done this with Bentley. Now Bentley's checking her out and coming back over. Ah, we like that. So I'm not, every time that she steps off early, I'm not the slightest bit frustrated or disappointed because those are the moments where I'm teaching her. She already knows what it means when I tell her to go over there. The real challenge is teaching her that she doesn't move while this little niblet floats around, right? Yeah. Yeah. What you gonna do? So now I'm gonna toss some treats to Bentley. And she is sitting there just as good as you please, tossing treats to Bentley. Let's see if we can find something. Ooh, Bentley. Look at these. Look at these, Bentley. Look at these, Bentley. Good boy, Bentley. And she is staying in place. Let's be even wackier. Bentley, pop, pop. Put her back on. So these treats are on the floor, and here's Bentley. 
Oh, there's Bentley. Oh, there's Bentley. Here he goes. How you feeling, Bent? How you feeling, Bent? Huh? You're a good boy. Are you a good boy? Up, up. Good. So you can see these treats right here are more interesting to her right now even than Bentley. What you doing, Ben? Huh? Are you my boy? Are you my boy, Bentley? Bentley's my boy. Bentley's my boy. So, I'm really impressed with her so far. Brick, good girl. Good girl. And then we will resume. We're going to repeat this again and again. So what we're going to have you do is have stunt people come over. You're going to ask one or two people come at different times, even if they just swing by for five or 10 minutes or have them come by, have a drink. So the idea is that she'll be over there. In fact, let's do it right now. Honey, place. Yes. Yes. So let's say Bentley is our little human, right? So Bentley comes in. He's all excited. Here comes Bentley. All excited. Woo, Bentley's excited. And then Bentley finally comes in, he sits down, and he is ready to have a cocktail. And she should be staying right there. And then once the human gets settled, then we're gonna say, honey break, good girl. And honey will get to then greet the human. If she starts getting too excited, she goes back to place. And then we repeat it again. So the idea is that every time we put her back in place, it takes her adrenaline down, her excitement down. Okay, so really delighted, honey, Place, honey. Place, yes, good girl. Now, she had a moment there. She was gonna start getting sassy and playful. I do not get excited. And if I needed to, I would have reached down and just moved her over there. But notice that I paused and then I repeated. I do not start talking about her silly behavior. I just wait and then go. Okay, more later. She's doing really good. 